Finally, my daughter. The day has come, for your departure for a new adventure in Morocco, to continue your studies in medicine. Stay wise as you have always been. We will miss you. I will miss you too. Also, make sure to keep your documents safe. Your passport, visa, and other important documents. Okay, mom. Noted. And, our prayers, will accompany you, throughout your stay there. Thank you, daddy. All right, have a good trip, my daughter, and call us as soon as you arrive. May the blood of Jesus cover you. Amen. Hello, miss. You look very sad. Is everything okay? Hello. Yes, it's okay. I guess. You don't seem convinced. What's bothering you? It's just that I'm going to leave my parents to go study in Morocco. It's a difficult decision. Oh, I see. Leaving family to study abroad can be very emotional. Why did you choose Morocco? I obtained a scholarship to study there. This is an incredible opportunity for me, but it means I'll be away from my family for a while. Wow. Congrats. Just stay positive, everything will be fine there. Thank you very much for your kind words. This comforts me enormously. You're most welcome. Look, we have just been called for our boarding. I must have to leave you. Enjoy your trip and enjoy your stay in Morocco. Thanks. Our boarding starts in 30 minutes too. Have a good trip. Well I arrived, but I don't see my cousin. I've been waiting for at least 40 minutes. Okay. I'm going to wait for a few more minutes. Well, she's still not here, and doesn't pick up her phone. Maybe I should take a taxi to her house. Okay. Taxi? 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 Sorry, I am not picking up anybody, right now. Eh, taxi. Taxi. Okay, you. I can pick up. Get in. What? I was there before the lady. But why does the taxi driver said no to me, but picks her up? Wow, it's off to a very bad start here in Morocco. Okay, I'll try again. Taxi? Taxi? Amazing. All these taxes passed me to pick up other people. What did I do wrong? Since then I have also called my cousin, but she doesn't pick up. Finally, she is calling. Hello, Nini. Hello, yes I arrived safely. I called you at least five times, and since you didn't pick up, I tried several times to get a cab, but to no avail. Oh, okay, you're coming. Okay, I'm here at exit 25 of the airport. See you later. Welcome, Cousin Yolia. Sorry, I'm late because the one who should replace me at work showed up late. Not a problem at all. I am just glad to see you. Me, too. We'll take the train home. Do you have all your luggages? Yes, all my suitcases are here with me. You know what, Cousin Nini, there was a strange thing that happened to me at the airport while I was waiting for you. Oh really? What's that? All the taxes that I tried to stop completely passed me to pick up people who came after me. At least 10 like that. I found that weird. What's the problem here? My dear, welcome. 
It's been like this here for thousands of years. They think they are superior to us, and treat us very badly in this country, and in all the Maghrebing countries. Wow. But how can one human being treat another like that? No one has to pay for the skin we are in. It is God who decided it that way, so I believe we are superior to another? But on what basis? A sad reality, but it's our daily life here. Be strong, God is great. All right, we get off on the next stop. Okay. Cousin, here is my humble studio. Like I told you, this place is small, and we won't be able to live here together for long. Yes I know, don't worry. Starting Tuesday, I'm going to make calls and make appointments to go and look at apartments. Tomorrow Monday classes start. I will be on campus. Okay, well the shower is on the right, and the bed is behind you. Make yourself at home. Thanks. I have to give you the fish, the atiaki, plus peppers that I brought you, and also your gifts from back home from the parents. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to call the parents to tell them that I've arrived safely and that I'm with you. Hello miss, is there anyone sitting near you? No, no one is sitting there. Hello, my name is Koba, and you? Nice to meet you, Koba, I'm Yolia. Nice to meet you, Yolia. It's my first year of medical school. How about you? Me too, it's my first year. It's a little intimidating, isn't it? Yes it is. But I'm sure we'll learn a lot of exciting things. That's right. Look, the professor has just entered. Hello all. I am Dr. Yasef, and I will be your teacher this year for the Introduction to Medicine course. I am delighted to welcome you on this exciting adventure that will lead you to a rewarding medical career. Now, to break the ice, I'm going to ask you a first question. Don't worry. This is not a formal assessment, but rather a way to see where your basic knowledge stands. So, what are the four main types of tissues in the human body? Me, Professor. Wow, but no one else raises their hand, why doesn't he pick me? Yet I am the only one raising my hand. The answer is the epithelial, connective, muscular and nervous tissues. Exactly. You, in the back. I believe that the four main types of tissues in the human body are the connective, muscular and nervous tissues. Bravo, you cited three, except the fourth which is the epithelial tissue. Okay now, I'm going to ask everyone to stand up and introduce themselves to the class. Koba, have you noticed during class? that all the professors kept ignoring our raised hand, and picked other student? None of the professors picked us, even when our hands were the only ones raised. They never allowed us to answer any questions. Yes, I have noticed it as well, but what can I say, it's probably because we are the only two black people in the lecture hall. These things piss me off. But it's like that here, I know a lot of sad stories. Really? My stay is not off to a good start here. Fasten your seatbelt, my sister, because it's like that in all North African countries. Well, not all of them, but most of them are mean to us black people, and do horrible things that are hateful in the eyes of God. Wow. We have only one God who is love, the Bible says, who makes the sun shine on the bad, and on the good. Exactly. I wonder what God, they pray around here. I ask myself the same question. But what do the authorities Maghribing do when black people suffer this kind of things? They don't do anything. They stay silenced most of the time. Wow. Okay, got to go. I have class in 10 minutes. Okay, I have to go home. Tomorrow I don't have classes, so I'll to take the opportunity to look for an apartment. Good luck. Okay, see you Wednesday. Thanks. I am pleased to have met you. 
Likewise, we can exchange numbers if you want. Of course. Here is my number. And here is mine. Well, I'm going to try to go home and eat, and then make the calls. Yes, how can I help you? Hello ma'am, I am here regarding your ad. You currently have a room that you are renting out, right? Yes, and this is for who? It's for me, ma'am. I am a medical student at the University of Plax. And since you're close to the university, I'd like to live here. It's for you? Oh no no. I'm sorry. I no longer have any rooms available. Wow. Really? Okay, thank you. Hello sir, it's regarding your ad, about an available room here. And for who this is? It's for me, sir. Oh no, I don't have any more room. Go look elsewhere. Okay, thank you for your time. So, how was your weekend? Were you able to find a place to live? Nope, still nothing. And I have to leave my cousin Sutio ASAP. The place is too small for the both of us. Sorry, sis. You know what I was talking about you yesterday with a group of friends, and one of my dear friends stated that she has a room available at her house, that you can use. The room who was supposed to live there did not get approved for the visa. So are you interested? Of course I am interested. You are an angel my friend. You are most welcome. You are lucky that's all. It's divine favor. Okay, cool. So, what do you think about your room? I think it's great, and don't worry, I'm very happy. Really thank you Siva, for your kindness, you're an angel my sister. Please, glory to God who made this divine encounter possible. Alright, I'll leave you with your cousin. I have to go meet my group of friends. Sounds good. Nice meeting you, ma'am. It was nice meeting you, as well. So? What do you think, cousin? You're very lucky, for a campus room, it is very big. Thanks then. But it is not luck, but the favor of God. Agreed. Okay, got to go. I'm so pissed this morning. Really? What happened? You have not followed the events these days taking place on the border of Tunisia and Libya? Oh, no no, I'm busy studying. So what happened? Hmm. Thousands of migrants hunted and dumped like animals at the border, following the death of a Tunisian. Oh my, that a tragedy. Here is the video of those migrants. What a horror, women and children being treated like this, it's inhumane. When I think, that there are many Maghribing in our countries whom we treat well. Even, one day there was even a Maghribing who slapped one of our police officers, and the affair went nowhere. We didn't chase them all away. I don't understand why we treat them, they always cough well, and it's us who are mistreated. This will all end one day. Professor is here. So, Koba, will you come study with me at the library this evening to prepare for our first exam which is in exactly 10 days? Okay, that works. I'll call you when I get there tonight. See you later then. Okay, later. What is this story of young black students being attacked? More acts of racism against black people. I'm going to study at home for the exam. I won't go to campus tonight for fear of getting attacked too. Koba is calling me. Hello, Koba, I was just thinking of you. Have you heard the story of two black students who were attacked by local men? Sorry, I won't be able to join you at the library this evening. I'm going to stay at home and study. Oh, okay, you want to come here? Okay, it's okay, we could study together here then. 
Thank you very much, my brother. What? Why is the house shaking like that? What's up with all the sirens? What is going on? Hurry, Jolia. There is an earthquake, and we need to go to a safe place now. Come, let's go. Earthquake? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm coming. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. We are here in a safe plea. Okay, evading stopped. We can go back now. I bet everything is damaged. I know. Let's go. Wow, everything is damaged. But at least we are alive. I have a lot of missed calls. I will go return the phone calls. I'll be back. Me too. My family called to check on me. I will call them back. Yo, Leah. How are things on your side? Thank God. Everything is also fine on my side. I'm so happy for you. None of my acquaintances were impacted. You see now, God is wonderful. A God of justice. He punished these wicked people, who caused many black people to suffer. Well done for them, they deserve what happens to them. What? Koba. But how can you rejoice in people's suffering? It is said that there was a lot of loss. Women, children, all perished, and you're rejoicing, you are Christian, that's not nice of you at all. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 24 verses 17 to 18 this. If your enemy falls, do not rejoice. But my dear, have you forgotten all these black people killed, with impunity? And then, hello, hello. She hung up on me? Wow. I can't believe that my friend Koba rejoices in the misfortune of others. Even if some are mean, at least we study in their country, a country that welcomes us. No one deserves what they are going through right now. He really got the better of me today. I'm not going to pick up his calls anymore. No, it's my dad calling me. Hello? Hello dad? Yes dad, hello? Yes, it's okay on my side, but there was a lot of damage, from what we were shown on TV. The house where we live is all trashed. No, yes, we are both fine. Thank you dad. Who? Mom wants to talk to me. All right. Yolia, hurry, come see this on TV. Look at all that human losses. More than 3,000 people here in Morocco perished. A whole village disappeared in the earthquake. There is also Libya, which suffered the same fate. Libya too? What a tragedy. These earthquakes caused a lot of damage. I think we should go help them. Good idea. Perhaps the African Association could also come and help. Tomorrow I will contact the president. Do you think they will come, my friend Koba? He is delighted with this situation. He says that these North African countries deserve everything that happens to them. You know, I understand him a little. His own cousin Rima was attacked and badly hurt last year. Wow. His cousin went through something I didn't know. Yes, his cousin was attacked by several Maghrebings, and the authorities did nothing. Nobody does anything when Africans suffer atrocities. Oh, my poor friend. I did not know. I'll call him. You. I haven't heard from you since the last time you hung up on me. Yes, I know, and I came to apologize. No worries. So when are you going back to your country? In three weeks. Three weeks? But I thought you were going home like me this week, since the semester is over. Yes, but I wanted to stay a little to help the Moroccan people. The earthquake, as you know, caused a lot of damage. Many families are homeless, and hospitals are full. So I'm going to stay a little to help. I thought you would come and volunteer to help too. No, I cannot. You know my position on this. 
I don't want to be a hypocrite and help such a wicked people. I prefer returning home to the country. Okay, so if we don't see each other, I wish you a good trip. And really sorry for what happened to your cousin. Thank you. It was your roommate who told you, I presume. Yes, she told me. And sorry again for what happened to her. Safe travels. And we'll call each other. Sounds good. Thanks. You. You are one of my students. What are you doing here? Professor Yasif, I have come to provide help. Wow. It's very nice of you. But what are you doing here, Professor? I lost everything. My family, my house, everything. I am hopeless. What a tragedy. Really sorry. All my condolences, but know that despite what you're going through, God has plans of peace and happiness for you. How can I have faith, after everything that has happened to me? It's true it's painful, but I can pray for you if you allow me. I'm Muslim, but okay, you can pray for me. Lord, God of grace and goodness, hear the cry of your son, who has been tried. Your word says in Psalm 34, that when the unfortunate cry, you hear it. Father hears your son, and come and help him, he needs your help in these difficult times. Turn your gaze of compassion and touch him now, act in his life, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Is that Professor Yasef over there? Yes, he lost everything. What are you doing here? I came to help too. What you told me touched me a lot. And I postponed my trip to help. What a beautiful surprise. Thank you for showing up, my friend. Come, we have a lot of families to help. Okay, 